How is it going, folks? Messi could end up at Barca already this winter. Chelsea are set to fight for Lautaro Martinez. And Ronaldo and Mbappe have greatly disappointed Juventus and PSG in a financial aspect. With all that said, we proceed to begin. Sergio Ramos has not lost any of his first 30 matches for PSG in all tournaments, which is an absolute club record. Marcus Rashford and Raheem Sterling were named among the most influential black people in Great Britain. Pavel Nedved shrugged off rumors of an Antonio Conte return to Juventus. Our position is always the same. What we always said, the club, players and everyone have full faith in coach Allegri, stated the white and black's vice president. Jan Oblak has made 277 La Liga appearances for Atletico, equaling Diego Godin's record for the most league games for foreigners at the Indians' camp. Alvaro Morata was subbed off in the league game against Cadiz due to a foot injury. The striker left the pitch in tears, as now he may not be included in Spain's bid for the 2022 World Cup. Victor Osimhen has become the first Nigerian with a hat-trick in Serie A, which he sealed against Sassuolo. During the game against Chelsea, Brighton supporters mocked Graham Potter by chanting, You're getting sacked in the morning. Graham Potter took off Kepa Arizabalaga at halftime against Brighton and Hove Albion due to a foot injury. Napoli have won 13 matches in a row in all competitions, updating the club record. Carlo Ancelotti commented on Real not signing anyone in January. This is the squad we'll have until the end of the season. It won't change stated Los Blancos boss. Juventus are plotting to resume negotiations on Memphis Depay's departure from Barcelona and are eager to give him a contract for 7 million euros per year. Cody Hapko can move to Manchester United, Southampton, Leeds, Arsenal, Barcelona or Bayern Munich in this winter transfer window. Barcelona are unpleasantly surprised by Rafinha's recent performances, writes Sport ES. Lionel Messi has tallied 10 assists in a mere 12 League One matches, setting his personal record for the fewest contests to reach 10 assists in a single league campaign. The Canadian Football Federation has appealed to Qatar with a demand to improve protections for migrant workers after the World Cup. Manchester United and Chelsea are interested in signing Ajax defensive midfielder Edson Alvarez. Xavi claimed that Blaugrana are preparing to pull off new signings. Sporting director Matteo Alemani and the technical secretariat are already preparing to work during the winter transfer window, Barca manager shared. Tunisia may get excluded from the 2022 World Cup due to the intervention of the country's leadership in football affairs. The Carthage Eagles may be replaced by Italy as the team that occupies the highest place in FIFA's national team's ranking. English teams that have adopted the voluntary code on tackling racial and gender inequality in the workplace meet only two of the eight criteria. Brighton have almost agreed on the move of 18-year-old Rosario central midfielder Facundo Bonanotte for 12 million euros. Mallorca ace Vedat Murici is the only La Liga footballer to score more than 50% of his team's goals, 6 out of 10 overall, making it 60%. Inter Milan management and Robin Gosen's agent will meet in November in order to discuss the player's future. Dusan Vlahovic may not be available for Juventus' upcoming fixtures due to groin pain. Barcelona could sign Union Berlin leader Rani Khedira, reports Bild. UEFA have paid Inter Milan 3 million euros in financial compensation for the cardiac arrest of midfielder Christian Eriksen at Euro 2020. Marco Royce is at risk of missing the World Cup due to a recurrence of the injury he suffered back in September. Napoli have presented the statue of Diego Maradona in San Paolo, the most notable feature of which is the golden left foot. Edinson Cavani could move to Barcelona in January, Mundo Deportivo informs. Cristiano Ronaldo has bought an 18 million euros worth villa in Portugal, making it the most expensive property within the country. Erling Haaland missed a Premier League match for the first time. This happened because of the injury he received in the clash against Borussia Dortmund. Among other things, yesterday we saw a ton of Europe's major leagues action. Added by Copa Libertadores' final showdown, the latest results are in front of you. Moving on to the main news of the release. 
let's have a brief rewind of yesterday's games. Even without having the mighty Haaland in the squad, Man City managed to withstand Leicester City, and it was De Bruyne who ended up saving the day for the citizens. Tottenham made a brilliant comeback during the clash against Bournemouth, losing by two goals but eventually winning 2-3. Brighton beat Chelsea for one, thus inflicting the first defeat on the pension as boss Graham Potter, and finally bringing the first victory for Roberto De Zerbi. Liverpool were feverish once again, this time in a 1-2 home defeat against Leeds United. Meanwhile in Spain, Atletico took no points in a tough battle versus Cadiz, losing 3-2. At the end of the duel against Valencia, Robert Lewandowski's accurate shot was enough for Barcelona's side to succeed. As for Germany, Bayern totally crashed Mainz with 6-2. Leipzig outclassed Bayer 2-0 and Dortmund beat Eintracht. 1-2. Napoli continued their winning streak in Italy, this time leaving no chances for Sassuolo, 4-0. Juventus barely dealt with Lecce thanks to a goal from Fagioli, while Andrew calmly crushed Sampdoria, 3-0. PSG arranged an entertaining shootout from Troyes. Ultimately, Messi and Co. got the job done with a score of 4-3. Soler, Messi, Neymar and Mbappe were most notable on the pitch. Last summer, the agent Jorge Mendes notified Atletico about a 100 million euros offer for João Felix's services from Bayern. However, the Madrid side refused to let the Portuguese go even for such an amount, believing that the footballer would have a strong season. Moreover, the Bavarians attempted to get João after Lewandowski's switch to Barcelona. As for this moment, though, Atletico leadership believes that Felix has to be sold anytime soon. PSG losses in the 2021-22 season will amount to approximately 370 million euros. The matter will be officially announced in the upcoming weeks. The Red and Blues reached such an amount of losses partially because of PSG, including part of Kylian Mbappe's salary under the new contract in the documents made for the last season. Subsequently, the Parisians' losses increased by several tens of millions of euros. Now PSG have a wage bill of 600 million euros. According to the rules of financial fair play from the 2025 to 26 campaign, PSG losses should not exceed 60 million euros, and the payroll should not be exceeding more than 70% of the club's income. Some time ago, the Parisians were actually fined 10 million euros for violating the FFP. Juventus could be fined for scams with the payments of Cristiano Ronaldo. A private agreement was reached between the Portuguese forward and Juventus to pay 19.9 million euros, despite the end of cooperation. During the investigation, Turin prosecutors find out that Juventus had reached a private agreement with CR7 to pay the mentioned amount, officially announcing all the players taking a pay cut due to the coronavirus pandemic at the same time. The 19.9 million euros payment was not included in Juventus's financial report. The Italian team could be fined from 20 to 60 million euros for such an act of violation. Chelsea are planning to recruit Inter striker Lautaro Martinez. The move could take place next summer. The Blues are keen on offering the necessary amount to the Italian club and also hoping that the deal will be positively influenced by the relationship between the team's management after Romelu Lukaku's loan agreement. The Belgian forward can be included in the deal, with Chelsea paying another 40 million euros. Inter, on the other hand, have no intention to sell the Argentinian star. Barcelona wish to sign Lionel Messi in January. The Catalans are eager to take advantage of signing newcomers in the winter transfer window using the one by one rule of La Liga. After the activation of economic levers, Barcelona were left with no financial restrictions. If the one by four rule was applied to them early on, then it's one by one rule, which was applied to the club from the summer. Starting next June, the 1x4 rule will again apply to Barcelona, making Messi's move almost impossible to pull off. So the Blaugrana president, Joan Laporta, has only one opportunity to take the Argentinian aboard in January. It might get hard to arrange a deal for several reasons. First of all, PSG are not going to part ways with Messi in the middle of the season. Secondly, the parties have rather strained relations, so the Parisians are unlikely to meet Barcelona's needs in this matter. Thirdly. Leo is now more focused on current PSG goals and the 2022 World Cup. If all these arguments are taken into account, the deal planned by Laporta and the director of Barcelona, Matteo Alemani, seems impossible in practice.
So far, Barca have not yet contacted Messi directly, as confirmed by all parties. Intermediaries from Laporta's side tried to establish contacts, but neither Messi nor the president of PSG, Nasser Al Khalifi, got in touch. Laporta flew to Paris for the Ballon d'Or ceremony and wanted to meet Messi while in France, but nothing came out of it. Guys, check out the new video on our football club project and find out how Charlie Simmons finally became a beast. Hey, have a great time watching the football news channel was with you. Take care and see you soon. And that's all for today. What news surprised you the most?